today back then. What happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1777, British Ambassador Joseph York demands the dismissal of Governor John de Graff due to him saluting the U.S. flag. In 1789, the first novel published in America, The Power of Sympathy, is printed in Boston, Massachusetts. In 1793, after being found guilty of treason by the French Convention, Louis XVI of France is executed by guillotine. In 1804, the world's first railroad journey takes place today in Wales. In 1842, John Greeno is granted the first U.S. patent for the sewing machine. In 1848, Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels publish the Communist Manifesto. In 1857, the U.S. Congress outlaws foreign currency as legal tender in the United States. In 1858, in Boston, Massachusetts, Edwin T. Holmes installs the first electric burglar alarm. In 1861, Jefferson Davis resigns from the United States Senate. In 1864, the first U.S. Catholic Church for Blacks is dedicated in Baltimore, Maryland. In 1866, American Lucy Hobbs Taylor becomes the first woman to earn a doctorate in dentistry. In 1874, the Oakland Daily Tribune newspaper begins publication. In 1878, the world's first telephone book is issued in New Haven, Connecticut. Even more fun than that is there are some of you wondering what a phone book is. In 1885, the Washington Monument is dedicated on the grounds of the mall in Washington, D.C. In 1887, over 18 inches of rain falls on Brisbane, Australia. Also in 1887, Oregon becomes the first U.S. state to make Labor Day a holiday. In 1893, Spanish musician Andre Segovia, who was considered the foremost guitarist of his time, was born. In 1899, German car maker Opel manufactures its first automobile. In 1902, Dr. Harvey Cushing, the first brain surgeon in the United States, performs his first brain surgery. In 1904, the National Ski Association is formed in Ishpeming, Michigan. In 1908, New York City passes the Sullivan Ordinance making it illegal for women to smoke in public. In 1911, the first Monte Carlo rally takes place. In 1915, Kiwanis International is founded in Detroit, Michigan. In 1918, the last Carolina parakeet dies in captivity at the Cincinnati Zoo. In 1925, Albania declares itself a republic. Also in 1925, weekly magazine The New Yorker begins publication. In 1928, the first Native American newspaper, The Cherokee Phoenix, begins publishing. In 1931, today is the first time you can take Alka-Seltzer. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Also in 1931, the Chicago White Sox and the New York Giants play the first exhibition night game. In 1933, American singer and pianist, the great Nina Simone, was born today. In 1937, today was the first initial flight of the first successful flying car, Waldo Waterman's Aerobile. I want one. In 1946, British actor Alan Rickman was born today. You know him as Professor Snape. In 1947, Edwin Land demonstrates the first instant camera, the Polaroid Land camera. In New York City. In 1948, the flag of Quebec is adopted. Also in 1948, NASCAR is incorporated. In 1949, U.S. soap opera, A Woman to Remember, is first broadcast on the Dumont television network. In 1951, the South Carolina House of Representatives urges Major League Baseball to reinstate shoeless Joe Jackson. They did not. In 1952, the British government, under Winston Churchill, abolishes identity cards in the UK to set the people free. Well, it was a nice thought. In 1954, the first nuclear-powered submarine, the USS Nautilus, is launched in Groton, Connecticut. In 1958, the peace symbol is designed by Gerald Holtham. You should Google peace symbol. I'll bet its history and meaning are not what you might think. In 1960, Little Joe, a Project Mercury spacecraft, lifts off from Wallops Island, Virginia. A female Reese's monkey named Miss Sam is on board. Also in 1960, the biathlon debuts at the Squaw Valley Winter Olympics. In 1964, the UK flies 24,000 rolls of Beatles wallpaper to the United States. That was after sending a half ton of Beatles wigs the other day. 
In 1965, civil rights leader Malcolm X is assassinated by members of the Nation of Islam. In 1968, a B-52 bomber crashes near Thule Air Base, contaminating the area after its nuclear payload ruptures. One of the four bombs remains unaccounted for after the cleanup operation is complete. I wonder how a nuclear bomb disappears. In 1969, Ted Williams signs a five-year contract to manage the Washington Senators. In 1970, the Jackson Five make their TV debut on American Bandstand. In 1973, Israeli fighter jets shoot down Libyan Arab Airlines Flight 114 over the Sinai Desert, killing 108 people. Also in 1973, the Chicago Blackhawks record their 262nd NHL game without being shut out. In 1975, former United States Attorney General John N. Mitchell and former White House aides H.R. Haldeman and John Ehrlichman are sentenced to prison over their involvement in Watergate. In 1976, commercial service of the supersonic Concorde jet begins with scheduled flights from London to Bahrain and Paris to Rio. In 1977, U.S. President Jimmy Carter pardons Vietnam War draft evaders. In 1979, during a girls high school basketball game in Iowa today, neither team scored a single point during regulation play. The game was finally won in the fourth overtime with a score of 4-2. In 1981, production of the iconic DeLorean DMC-12 sports car begins in Dunmurry, Northern Ireland. In 1982, Ain't Misbehavin' closes at the Longacre Theater in New York City after 1,604 performances. In 1986, AIDS patient Ryan White returns to classes at Western Middle School. In 1988, televangelist Jimmy Swaggart confesses his sins to his congregation. In 1989, U.S. officials bust a Chinese drug smuggling ring, capturing a record 820 pounds of heroin on this day, worth $1 billion at street value. In 1991, Neil Simon's Lost in Yonkers opens at Richard Rogers Theater in New York City and runs for 780 performances. In 1992, Christy Yamaguchi of the U.S. wins Olympic gold medal in women's figure skating today. In 1995, American businessman and adventurer Steve Fawcett became the first person to fly solo across the Pacific Ocean in a balloon. In 1997, the U.S. House of Representatives votes 395 to 28 to reprimand Newt Gingrich for ethics violations, making him the first U.S. Speaker of the House to be disciplined in this manner. In 1999, in one of the largest drug busts in American history, the United States Coast Guard intercepts a ship with nearly 10,000 pounds of cocaine on board. In 2003, a 7.6 magnitude earthquake strikes the Mexican city of Colima, killing 29 and leaving approximately 10,000 people homeless. Also in 2003, Bill Maher's political talk show, Real Time with Bill Maher, debuts on HBO. In 2009, the 29th Golden Raspberry Awards, also known as the Razzies, occur. The Love Guru wins. In 2014, U.S. President Barack Obama meets with the Dalai Lama. In 2015, Saving Christmas wins Worst Film at the 35th Golden Razzies Awards. In 2018, Evangelist Billy Graham dies today at 99 years old. In 2019, The Lunar Library, a 30 million page digital library was sent to the moon for storage on Israel's Bereshit Lunar Lander. And in 2021, the World Health Organization pleads with Tanzania to start reporting COVID-19 cases amid fears of a hidden epidemic in the country. Well, that is what happened today in history. I hope you enjoyed it. I've got quite a few more of these. Many of them are right in front of you. Love it if you watch them.